He's he's been gooshed on up early here over towards mid and is a three-man B lean as cat control is being established. The one X bet on heavily over the German side. Hmm. Breeze has kicked this one off in style. Yeah, but they're still rotating off. Miho and Sirk have both abandoned Daps. The 10 HP in-game leader now with it all to do and his team is smoked off. Breeze's flank is fast. Mm, if he finds Tapson, I'll, I'll get excited. If he doesn't, I'll start believing this one's just fallen apart for EG. And it was just because Searson existed. Yeah. Like, all he had to do was he fired a single bullet with a single strafe. And he also died. So it's curious that it forced so much rotation here. Biting down a little bit too hard, EG. And now they're going to get punished. Only two more to find me. Who now low and the crab walk in. The P250 of Gade will get it done. And that right there is the pistol round. So this is uh, either going to be one of those games where... EG are able to keep it competitive and we're going to have a close affair or Big are just going to run all over them. I don't see this being a dominant EG game. It just doesn't seem likely. And we've already painted all those win conditions or conditions for EG of why they're sitting in this, uh, let's say, sticky scenario. Searson on his scout. He's pretty deadly with that one. How yeah. long Tizian goes. He was great on you with a couple of entries here. Not to be the same. Well, this is a bit brave out of the boys with big. Get that AK in your hands real quick. Yeah, and two boosted up, but Cirque Scout to be tested here. And oh, nice he's shot. not going to miss that any day of the week. Cirque already making it costly for Big Clan. He does fall down on the repeat. It's Sis and Scout on Scout action. Now, the bomb to get across is a weird smoke. The Oboe Deagle will be activated. They could try run boosting. They could try... The double smoke from Gaden Searson. Well, I think they got three of them. They should smoke. They'll opt for the wall. Yeah, definitely do the wall here, boys. Don't take any chances right now, especially in a three on three. The smokes land, the bullets don't. Yeah, Breeze is Gandalf. Daps has a flash. I imagine that'll be for the flat, the bomb plant. Oboe flirting with the aggression on ramp and. As it's re-smoked again, they continue to slowly, methodically try and peel their way into this A site. EG are here to receive them. Daps getting a bit paranoid with all this cut of noise, and there's the frags they were waiting for. Big Clan, they parked the bus. Poor old Daps has been a bit hard done by there. Two bullets from his Deagle connected, but they're into the fingertips of Keto, and so four HP remaining on him. Yeah, good to see Big not get flustered in that three on three. The fake plant to draw them out, right? So they could take the fights together. Searson also playing closer to the site. He could have just stayed long with the scout and go, yeah, you guys get the bomb down. I will lock down this. Yeah, and... plant for me. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> but he got involved. He used the elevation of that car position and they'll get their second round here. So a little bit of damage done, but it, like on Nuke, EG, they got a couple of kills. They saved a couple of guns. This time it will just be Dap surviving here. So not as threatening. Yeah, that's what they had to go through in map number one. Should be a pretty clean third round for Big coming up. You wouldn't believe who I played who I played Dust 2 with yesterday. Was it Dabs? Natu. And, wow. And Vendetta. Oh, okay. Now that's a throwback for a you. Finn, a Norwegian. Yeah, and a Brit. And a Brit walk, walk into a bar. Walk into a long. Was it, it, Dust, it was Dust 2? It was Dust 2, yeah. How did it go? Really well. Everyone was communicating. We were doing really nice. It's like they'd been retaking A for 10 years. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. They have. They have. They have. <laughs> They definitely have. Like it, I was just listening to them doing it. I was like, oh, so this is what it's like to be in a functional team. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Well, it is a full, full, I can't say the word full. Why has it come out of my mouth twice? Full? Uh, full. Foolish, Alex. Economical for the CTs. And Big Clan is sending Searson into a four-man short stack. Good luck, have fun, my boy. It's in at least three. Uh, it's only the Mac 10 fallen into enemy hands and at least Cirque's going to be able to like at least get some info. Daps is going to call tons clear and well with the bomb down that's A that's a. the end of Oboe. Yeah so they mopped this one up relatively quickly. That's one of the classic situations when you send one player out and you get all the info you need. Didn't lose an AK. I think you've been spotted there my friend. It's only a matter of time. Taps in around the box. Galil. Oh. Absent. Thank you. <laughs> And it's just this saved Daps Deagle from round number two. Can't profit. Down to 29, and well, that Deagle will be scavenged as well. So 3-0, good start here from Big. And well, Sirison's going to get himself the AWP right now. So things are about to get turned up a notch. Bit of friendly banter between Cirque and Tabson <laughs> in the all chat. And here we go. Both teams with the orb. Cirque's been able to equip one as well here for this first gun round. There's a kit in play. It is on Cirque as well. Galils are the only problems, I would say, for Big, but they got plenty of money for a buy in the next round if they do 
four go round number four, and here we are. Susan aggressive down mid and immediately Ooh. strikes. Obo, you gotta be careful about those. It's gonna leave such a huge gap. Like, unless Daps has a hero moment here, call it a save. Call it a three man save. Like, Mies is gonna try. And he is potentially just gonna walk straight in. Oh, oh, he looked away. An advantage now for the CTs. Me, who will have a chance to at least voice concerns. Oh, and Searson far too wise to his tricks. Daps has been pulled out as well. Searson's picks have pulled CTs like moths to the flame to this double doors position. How many more is he going to get? I mean, his cross crosshair seems set for another if they go looking. Oh, dear. Just feeding the beast. Searson handed a third. And there's more to come, finally. Sirk will claw one back, but the round is lost. The sight is lost. Also getting a bit horny there, going for a peek. He's been pushed. Has to survive, has to lock this down. Tabson will deny it. Both final frags on the save. Breeze and Sirk go down. AWP scavenged. And the fourth for Big. So that one was over before it really got started. The action was all in the tail end. But seriously, giving them a bit of the Jame treatment, right? Like if the Orpa can establish mid door presence and you have to get back across because they're pressuring either bomb site, that's exactly what your Orpa can do. Just pick you apart, knock you down a peg, and put you back on pistols. So we're talking hole you can find yourself in on the CT side. It's played out exactly as it can. Pistol, lost, force, lost, eco, lost, first gun round, lost, back to the half by. We want to go in the right direction. This needs to be a big fifth. And they've really bought themselves a buffer here on this T side. I, I hope we get the interview with, you know, Tabs and post mortem. And uh, we go, so Tabs, you didn't have to communicate in English at all in this game. How'd you feel? You know? Yeah. And just see if he starts with the interview in German. Well, I do. I mean, I find it such an interesting uh, topic. Oh, and that's interesting indeed. He's Daps on his own. has made this very costly. <laughs> on his own? Yeah, a, a solo long hold. Okay. And it does enable a bit of a stack, not only on the site, but they might get a double flank here. They can't fall back, really, can they? No, far from it. And it does mean that. I mean, maybe not Cirque with the CZ. It's not the perfect weapon for it, but Breeze's deal could be potent on this late A crunch. Oh, well wow. placed nades as well yeah, here. The nades are actually setting us up for success here. Big, as you highlighted, should be converting this one, but Daps has actually just thrown a real wrench into the system. Now, Searson looking away from Long Averts' Breeze. game. That enables the Breeze. Flank controls the Galil, tames it, gets info on the ramp as well. Mihu will finish it, and that's Breeze's double. Bam! EG set for success. Dap starts. EG finish. Selfless death from Cirque there as well, right? That's a maneuver that you will see T's pulling out, where if you're going to do like a late lurk long where you're executing from Cat, you send one player out as a martyr to force that AWP or that long anchor who will now go and help his teammates. Like, he's going to say, long down. Exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you'd be expecting, if they're going to go for that type of a play, that they would at least try and trade. Well, there was no trade potential. Breeze has kind of hung Cirque out there on a hook. And he's caught the biggest fish of Searson and the round. So EG, profit off of Daps' double. Daps had a couple of good moments on the CT side so far between these two maps. Nuke had some moments towards Yard as that swing man. But yeah, the, the topic we were on was that of language. And what's yours? Yeah. Oboe's got far too much on his plate without one. And that was actually two scope rifles head to head. So. Kept on the goose egg. Oboe's been very, very neutralized so far in our opening five. It's going to be a lot of pressure on Oboe as the B-side defender here today with Daps as his sidearm or side man or side piece. Side piece, for sure. Little bit of fun to be had here on Dust2. I don't know if we're going to be seeing a third, like uh, EG, if uh, this doesn't buck the trend, if all of that hard work on your force by... Wow, so that is very quick and... Don't see the wallbang icon, so that's just a quick flick onto Kito as he did emerge. You've got to convert this one, EG. If you want to be competitive on Dust2, I need to be convinced in the full gun on gun. Tamsin this time winning his duel, and now the AWP is gone. Long's a problem for Big. That's the bomb on Searson, so if Breeze doesn't win his duel, that's a very risky oh, maneuver. Oh, he's locked in, he's locked in. Searson's dead. Yeah. Well, maybe not. Tamsin's actually just bailed him out completely. His exit has been open, a green light given. Run. Searson responsible now for long, and Big have handled this gracefully. Really nice. Oh, that is a big recovery. Uh, pun absolutely unintended. 
I just need to find more adjectives. A big, yeah, well, we, we've had this before. <laughs> I think Phil sent us like a whole <laughs> word montage. Mo monumental. Monumental, large, humongous. humongous gargantuan. Mag magnanimous. No, that's something else. But this round right here, yeah, it literally just came down to that Tabson kill and to breeze over towards Pit. One of the keys that I've always liked with EG, or maybe not liked, let's say a strength, is the fact that they have Breeze as their long defender. You know, if you get him in Pit, that turret is always going to seem good for one. Unfortunately, he didn't get the second there. Just too many angles to worry about. Wow, there's a fun one for you. You want to play the vocab game, Chad? Mm. Magnanimous. Uh, d is the definition is generous or forgiving, especially towards a rival or less powerful person. Oh, yeah, very okay. flexible. Well, that's not me at all, then. <laughs> <laughs> Chad has been working towards a more magnanimous start. Another cobbled together scenario here for EG. And, well, Breeze, Deagle in hand. He gets one here. Oh, not quite. Took a chunk out of them, but they aren't going to slow down. And that chunk has been converted. Unfortunately, that's the only positive to report. Oh, and Obo was. Very hot on the heels of Gade, the bomb carrier. Hasn't didn't, been heard, though. Didn't make any sound cues. And yeah, well, sir, catching one on the aggressive doors. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, the CZ. It seems I good. can't handle it. It seems good in concept, in practice, and in functionality. I'm not sure. I, I, think, I think it's got a couple of places that I'd like it used. I think Nuke it can be good in a couple of places. I think Apartments on Inferno, it can be pretty good on Pistol Rounds. Do you think reverting the CZ pull-out time, but keeping the kill reward at 100 would be a balanced response? Do you, or do you think it would return to its old, funky, overpowered ways? For me, I just think it... it because you can easily get a kill with it. Yeah. I think you just need to make the kill reward 300, right? I, 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 the pull-out... You the just, draw time does yeah, But you don't use it as a sidearm. You only use it. Yeah. You only oh, yeah. use it on these type of rounds, I, I was right? watching that JW video, Fnatic released, yeah. and it just reminded me of, like, how, silly. how it was a pocket AK-47. It was crazy. Like, he literally had two primary weapons. Yeah, so if, for those of you who missed it, back when the CZ was in its most powerful form, a player like J, JW, who's already hyper-aggressive, can go aggressive with the AWP, and let's say that he missed the shot, which let, let, let's just say even 50-50 he did or he didn't. Yeah. He then could pull out the CZ, and if they tried to run him down and punish the AWP for going aggressive, which is what you meant to do, he could get multiple kills with the CZ because it whipped out so quick and was just an absolute hand cannon. So uh, nothing like that these days. It's criminally underwatched and under upvoted, by the way. So a lot of hard work went into that. I'd recommend it. Zodiac, one of Counter-Strike's best editors. Nice opener as well from Searson. But if you wanted to find that video that I was referencing, JW breaking down his most iconic CS plays, you'll find that on Fnatic's YouTube. Beautiful edit. And as someone that attempted to edit videos back in the day, I can tell you how hard it is to make them look that pretty. Bloody hell. This has already gotten away from EG, I think. It has. I mean, look at the way Daps is holding B. He's basically just playing Conceding retake. Conceding already. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Needs two. Yeah, he does. And I'm not convinced. Safe. Definitely safe. They're being bullied a little here, Chaddy. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? They've, this group, in terms of name value, is the flashiest. It's like you're walking down the promenade in Vegas and the flashy lights are everywhere and there's a big name headlining each of the each of the. Yeah, casinos, what's the right? fancy circus that does all the backflips? Uh, Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, the, the, yeah, this is the Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, so uh, with, with that in play, right, this group has all the huge names, but it also had a lot of question marks. We all know the EG circumstance, we've spoken about it, Fnatic. How, how are you meant to know what that team's gonna offer? It's brand new, it's been thrown together. We don't know if Mezzi and Alex are gonna mesh with Brolin, Jackinho, and Crims. We also have FaZe, as Yanko was touching on the desk, had a great land performance, but now they're back online. Do they believe? And I'll add the Navi caveat of just notoriously you get them about 70% capacity when you're online. Yeah, the, yeah, it does feel that way, doesn't it? I think I think now that they have Bit instead of Flamey, right? Bit's going to be hungry no matter what the environment is. So I think that that's going to make up for maybe them lacking in that department. And surely the fact that Pro League could be their Grand Slam. That's true as well. Surely. So you'd be taking this one serious for a million dollars. I mean, a, a million dollar Pro League. Yeah, oh, oh no, we're at home. I think you're going to give it your all. Yeah, and I believe they were boot camping before the event and now they've gone home. Oh, that's looking very crispy. Tabson with a two-piece meal deal on short. 
Well, we haven't even discussed his affinity for the Krieg on this T-half either. He's been purchasing it a lot. He's been profiting with it a lot. And, and a one-man uh, A-fake. Yeah, this is just really starting to hurt for EG now. They have to respect it. They have to acknowledge that he's there. How many more is he going to get? He's managing his angles. Oh, Mihu, good find. But the round is lost all the same. Chapson's kept two bodies busy. Big don't know it yet, but the site is theirs and likely the eighth round as well. Uh, they're going to have to start going for some of they these are. rounds. The fact that Daps has an AWP is very telling to me that they won't. Not a 2v4. For this one. No, but uh, as we start to get further and further down oh, the dear. hole that is this CT side for EG, they will need to start contesting. Daps using the operator here at range. Okay. He's opping. Yep, he's opping. Oh! Ooh. All right, well, he's a dead man in about four, three, two. People at home, maybe if you are an EG fan or a Daps fan or you're maybe a Valorant fan and you saw Daps playing, what type of characters or agents, I believe they call them, was Daps playing? Was he like a Killjoy main? Was he... I reckon he's, he on a Rainer? He's, he's rocking that brimstone, isn't he? You reckon you know, he's a brimstone? He's the, the old the man boy? of the group, just dropping the smokes. Okay. <laughs> Dropping the XX. I think he would have had to have had at least three characters he would have played. So yeah, yeah. let's find out. If someone knows, that let would me be know. Interesting, I suppose we see if, if we can find some parallels. Ooh. No fun to be had for Cirque, I'm afraid, as he's the only one whipping out the scout and already catching all bullets. I, I would be hesitant if I noticed a full five man long play here, just because the chances are these boys are going to get pushy and will have info for this stack. Okay, they're doing it. Yeah, I, look. As soon as they deal with Cirque, who's already shown that he likes to continue to swing and fight this line, that's when this is over. If Cirque can be pesky, get a tag and a kill, then survive, yeah, maybe, maybe there is a chance because Daps, while this long control is just being held by Big, he's working on upper dark info and I think they already have a really good inkling it will be this A play. The confirmation about to come in with the smokes. Yeah. So now Big can walk across and it's going to be Keto. Gade and Tizzy and this gruesome threesome. First contact is taken, and it's a two for one in favor of that T side. Only going from bad to worse for EG. This looks like nine. Conservative buy and not too much resistance. Big Clan not getting punished at all for that commit to long. And it's, I mean, even in full gun rounds, people don't get punished for it. So there's a reason for it. You can see there those mollies as well, how stifling it can be. Uh, a molly towards Gandalf, a molly towards Short. Where are you meant to stand? Where are you meant to but peek? Just in Ch Chad's Counter-Strike lessons, while he runs off and saves, for my own benefit, mm. what... When, let's say you've got that info again. Let's say Daps, it's a full gunny, and our B-Tons players call him B-Tons clear. We, we presume, mid's quiet, it's, a, it's the, the all-in Na'Vi long play. Is the play then you kind of concede and sit on your nades and it becomes more of a case of making that ramp and plant really awkward? Or do you fully kind of start closing the gap behind them like a little kind of split up short, long? I think there's there's multiple different ways that you can definitely deal with it. One of the more favored ways for me would be holding on to your nades, but that would mean you need to start the round knowing that if we lose long, I want everybody to hold on to their HEs and mollies, the right. ones that are going to do damage. Mm -hmm. And then when they do throw out the smokes, you need somebody to prop top side to call the actual commit, but then everybody from CT and short can keep the site mollied, nade the ramp, and you try have, and do damage that way. You have your AWPer, like, um, do the simple underhand, like yeah, the Gandalf the, smoke? That right there can get super, super dicey, so that's like the limbo. If you want to play in limbo where you're going to contest it, you want to save your smokes for, like, the top site, for the simple smoke you're talking about there as well, and make those fights more favorable for you. Or the other method is, if you're lower on util and maybe scrappier in weapons, when the smokes land on the cross, you commit through their smokes with a couple of well placed flashes, you can even underhand a smoke your own in front of their wall and that's to give you the buffer. Base. Yeah, and that's the riskiest, that's yeah. the, 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 the most uh, highly in flux option out of, the, out of the bunch, but it also is the one that could catch them the most off guard, right? It's the, the least orthodox, it's the one that is going to rely on timings and hitting some big shots and them lining up, right? The Counter Strike madness. But uh, here we go, nine to one, uh, likely. Going to be double digits at least for Big here. Now, maybe not in this round, but it's hard to see them getting stalled out here into a 9-6 fashion. Just going through their paces now. No more all-in gambits towards Long. Strolling through with the default. And they will have to go towards Breeze, who I spoke about before as a good player to be a long anchor. Normally, you're putting a more supportive element there. And they're walking into Cirque's AWP and the Breeze blue bin play.
Bombs here, Alex. This could be the round done. As soon as they go down, the bomb could just be stuck. Oh, that's a nice find. Yeah, he's been very patient on B as well, so rewarded eventually. And looks like Zerg's patience is also going to net him a frag. Ouch. Tabs and swallowing nades looking very good for an EG second here. Very good indeed. Just Keto all up against the world. And it is going to be a spotless one from EG. This sounds mean. It's not meant to be mean. But uh, if you're going to go late, like, again, I'll point out Breeze. If you're going to go late into Breeze at long, you, you're going to have a hard time. So, yeah. you know Daps in the server. Try and punish the mid to Bs. Try and punish the short plays, right? Try, Ooh, try and keep them catch. moving. They, Little bunny hop amongst his teammates there. We saw from Fours when they played against VP the other day and they were going out late long. They were walking into James Orp in the same fashion as Circus just sitting there. So, here we go. The all-in long. Need some well-timed flashes. Now they go. Yeah, Gade. Oh, Gade. Gade. Very bouncy. Very aggressive. Takes contact. He spotted a, a couple. A fair few. He awaits for the flash. An uncharacteristic miss from Cirque results in a lot of space up long. And they're going quick here. Oh, Big land. another miss. Very, very aggressive. They're ahead of the smokes just as they pop. So do Big. Dabs is looking for survival here, and Taps is taking names, taking dog tags, ripping oh. them off the <laughs> neck. Dabs does well for one. They're on the car. He's unprepared for it, and this just looks like a double digits wrap up. Big Clan accelerating into way. The pace that Gade brought there, you've got to give him a shout out for just not slowing down. Yeah, they caught them all like in limbo there on long corner, right? And as soon as Gade gets that information, as he peeks around and sees two to three players, knows that it's going to take them a while to set up. Now, previously, Big took long control and they waited. Well, here, that's a, a pace shift. They went, okay. Well, if you think you're going to start looking for info elsewhere, if you think you're going to start assembling this A defense, we're in your face. We're not going to give you a moment to feel comfortable. And it could be a very, very quick debut for the new big clan. Back in German. Yeah, and if you're able to have a new player come in and you can play as few maps as possible, you can play as few rounds as possible, keep as much unknown so that people just can't start downloading all of your demos and watching into your new tendencies or even just defaults of who's holding where. Yeah. It's uh, uh, nice. And I know it's, it is unquantifiable and it's a nuanced conversation in terms of how much communicating in a second language impacts your, your gameplay. And I understand how people suggest that, you know, speaking English and having English serviceable for comms oh, is different. And Tabson's double has managed to completely null me who's hard work. Sirks here on long and he will collect. There should be a trade and there <laughs> is. He got a fresh mag for his Krieg now and he is a bit of a threat. Bit of a problem. Oh my god, I'm scared <laughs> if I'm Daps. Those bullets are scary and the nade right on top of him. He's having a good time here, Tabson, today. Yeah, he's here for a long time and a good time, I'm afraid. I can't believe how much he's getting out of that Krieg. It feels like he's almost a Krieg main on this T side. Well, a two on two now. And it's going to have to be the ace. There you go. <laughs> Sit down. Tabson's here. Class is in session. 11 for big, but Tabson just takes the whole squad. Oh, he's making it look like the old Krieg. He uh, is. He's just absolutely dismantling here. Now, this transition with me who getting two, I'm sitting there going, is this really happening? Do they just allow them to dry swing out so for another? And here's Tabson having to convert it all. Sure. 22 kills for him now, and a great round for Tabson. The in-game leader of big with 22 frags already. Only 13 rounds played, and this one kicks off horribly for Circa as well. Tagged on down through the doors, 30 HP remaining. <laughs> They're coming into the long stack. I don't know how much difference that's going to make. Tizzy and Quick. Flashes are there, but the body's dropping. Here, here <laughs> it comes again. The Tabson Krieg for revenge. <laughs> He's just locking on. I reckon Daps wins this. He's just locking. All right. Give me it. Give it to me. Okay. The Daps Deeg. Two to find, and it, it starts with Tabson getting hit by that beautiful, graceful 1D guy to Daps, right? Okay. Like, he's got 4 HP. Um, oh, I'm getting less convinced the longer he sits still. Uh, you never know. That molly not helping. Not helping my case. Because now we're going to be, what, over 10 seconds after yeah. this molly subsides. So the bomb's been down for, at this point, 10, 11, uh, 12 seconds. 
Well, Tabson really doesn't seem threatened by his low HP. He goes looking and he's on 25 and 7. I'm um, going to see how many of these kills have been with the Krieg. Let me start counting up. Well, I'll tell you when we get back from the break. But yeah. I'll start counting now. You do this last round. Get your uh, shoes off. Get my, get my abacus out. Your gloves off and your shoes off. I think it's gonna, you're going to require a few more than just the 10. But yeah, 25 total. Lovely stuff. Doesn't leave Tizian hanging either, who is his second in command at the moment with that fragging chart. And they're going straight into B. What is this? The AWP entering B? Oh, this is fruity. Searson's in. He's a big box. He's holding really odd angles too, but it's got the whole, the squad, the entire EG squad is here. Searson's just walked through the Lurk Smoke and is saying, come and get me. And it's working one by one. Channeled in this T-side AWP is working wonders. The only response has been Cirque's AWP, but it leaves all onto the... Searson 1v3, they're so close. How is he supposed to get a multi-kill here? Yeah, Sark denies. Since Tara is gone, he's going to need to find more impact. And that just comes within the kill department. So here we go. Let's see. Did you have anything to say? That's scuttled on down. The 1x bet on seemed to think not. Obo with the opener here is giving them a real chance in this pistol round, though. Yeah, these CTs are going to be so quick on the heels. Like, this is a three-man short flank before Mihu can have any voice. On that, Gade peppering the cross. Searson reveals himself, and oh, Cirque's block is as sharp as ever. That's two out of him. Poor Gade disconnected from the pack. It's Keto that's connected a bullet. If this one goes awry, careful now. Mihu from behind to confirm it. A nice conversion. GG <laughs> started off thanks to Obo. Yeah, that right there, timing was just off on the flank of Sirius. And if he was a, a couple seconds earlier, catches them in transition. A couple seconds later, then maybe catches as they're trying to transition into different post-plant positions. But, EG, to keep uh, anything of a conversation alive for Dust2, you felt like that was necessary. They're able to get themselves up some AK-47s, daps into a MAC-10. Obo going to do the same. And it looks like they're going for a bit of a default spread. Cirque to contend with the mid-doors. And, well, there's two scouts over there. Keto in towards lower dark. Sirius and... Helping to peek as well and push straight up middle. Tizian's cheeky maneuver silenced early. Didn't even really give the scouts too much of a chance to tag here. I think they were hoping for an all-in long. Oh, and another scout down. Great catch out of Obo. Doesn't cost him anything other than the bullet now residing within his uh, belt loops. They're going to get A for free here. Daps crossing on over. Breeze is just behind. Cirque coming in as well. And yeah, I'd really try and hold on to these two scouts to have a crack again in the next round. I wouldn't be wanting to give away any of these saved, uh, sorry, upgraded weapons. Make sure you save them, hold on to them to, for the next. Dap's starting to have a hunt. Obo trying to deal with tunnels, but he is low, remember, and more damage being done. Got to be careful here, EG. You don't want to give up these AKs. Yeah, I think that might be enough to call the pause on the hunt. Uh, Dap's still flirting with the idea. In worst case, it'd be lose the AKs, and they get picked up by Big, and they upgrade from... Oh, well... There is one of the AKs. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Keto, I can't believe he's getting that pushy. Oh, and he's that snappy as well. He's looking sharp today. I mean, Tabson. why not just get Tabson running to retrieve? Yeah, see if he can find something better than this scout. Look, uh, it's going to be fine to have the scout. He's not committing to it. He'll take uh, the scout instead. Okay, I'm surprised he hasn't tried it. Maybe he goes now. Here we go. Can't flop the movement. Up, over, around, oh. and magnificent. So they can give the scout back to Searson. They have two AKs, one for Tabs and one for Keto, who already have armor. Gade still had a Deagle left over, and Tizian can be dropped the pistol as well here. So this is going to be quite the juicy round here for Big. Threatening. Yeah, Tabs actually opted to drop an MP9, so Tizian will have more threatening like a uh, half -bar. presence. Yeah, oh, wait, they're going all in. They just all went in. all in. It is all in. All right, they shoved all in. Big round now from Big. Whoo, we. Okay, well, we're not going to be seeing any crazy pushes up mid like Tizian's previous. They've put a lot of their eggs into this basket. And I say crazy, pushes Sis and fancies his chances. And he does take a big chunk out of Obo. Confirms the lethality with the second bullet. And EG already on the back foot. Will it be a trip? Or oh. will it be a stumble down suicide and die? He will. Cirque's gone. Breeze going for a solo contact peek in. And Keto was just holding the off angle. That Really has fallen apart for EG here. Yeah, this one is not looking good whatsoever. Uh, they gave away way too much on their hunt in the previous, and they're just going to fall like flies now. One man to find me, who, in a one-on-five, will be able to scoop up the bomb. 
but has a minute to work with and low ah. sense gang he's behind him me who's friction burns but he has adjusted in time if he keeps taking a couple of scalps here big don't need to give away too many right they just need to tighten up and play this one sensibly the timing there on the smoke pull out so they get the kill they get another ak 47 to carry forward and Oh, the runway is open right now for Big because of all the casualties that EG sustained in the previous with this round loss compounding. They don't have a lot of money. Uh, I think they will just have to opt on in for the force by and that one right there is a horrible death. I can't believe that's a headshot. It looks like almost sucks jumping at the He jumped into the yeah, bullet. I don't know. Thank you very much. And uh, Daps has dropped an AK. They've been able to get a Galil for, Bri uh, for Mihu. And uh, there's a couple of Deagles in the mix here as well. But this is really the last ditch attempt. So. If they fall flat here, it's 1,900 into the next round. We may as well just start packing things up for series number one. You can all draw your attention to Na'Vi versus the brand new Spankin' Fnatic coming up next. That'll be yeah. 4.45 that one kicks off today. Brolin took to social media as well, saying he thinks they can do some damage uh, in their group. It's good to see confidence out of him. It's been a while since we saw a confident tweet out of Brolin. Good flash from Captain. It should set him up for only the one. Mihu's Galil wins out the duel. And so that leaves us in actually a little, just a slight state of unpredictability. Searson's parked on the mid doors cross, which does mean that Gay's got a lot on his plate for this A defense. Well, they get the smokes down for the cross at least. How pushy does Gabe want to get? Does anyone have a flash for him? Oh, just some random bullets from Gay, but it costs him his life. He tagged up Ovo significantly. They shouldn't have had a chance in this round. They've been able to work a lot here, EG. They've already forced wow. Big to save. That's crazy. Just with the trading officially along, that's all it took. Really good stuff there from EG. And look, they are on the back foot, but they're not giving up just yet. And look, yeah. Uh, Didn't see that one coming at all. So EG will get their sixth. Just a little bit of a slip up there from Big Clan. It's been a while since Counter-Strike had some drama. Yeah, we've been dry of it for a little we while. We had a bit of a drought. I mean, we're usually pretty good for it. Yeah, and then uh, I think we do drama better than any other eSport. <laughs> we're, we're the best eSport for drama, for sure. Oh, yes. No argument there. It's all kind of kicked off this week. I think at the start of the week, we had uh, stuff with the, with the match fixing. Then we had um, a female tournament discussion kick off again. We always oh, yeah. love that one. We do that one at least once a year. And now we're back into the Hunden Chronicles, chapter six. I don't know if it's just my eye test or I'm just like really good at ignoring the, like the bad takes. But it feels like some, a lot of people in the Counter-Strike community are starting to actually have nuanced opinions. It's crazy, that. Like they realize that there's like complexities and nothing's cut and dry. Especially when we don't have all the information, right? It, yeah. it just makes it really difficult. But this is a good start. Tabson's silenced them four strikes, and surely for EG, it's not the rifles out and then they lose the round again. They got it done with much less than the previous. Come on now, boys. Give us something convincing here. The four on five, a bit of map control. I just don't want to mess with nearly swore. Don't want to mess with Searson. Well, now he's posted up on long. Like it's re it's a quite a good deterrent. I don't know if EG are willing and brave enough, but. They have got two smokes, so technically they've got all the ingredients they need, but the pick onto the AWPA is going to become easy. Ovo steps up to the plate and he delivers. That's at least going to give him a chance. A bit of a wobbly smoke wall. I fear there's going to be a gap there. Looks like they've handled it well. They can get across unscathed. So this now man a disadvantage becomes a two-man disadvantage. It seems Tabson is finding frags regardless of what's in his hands. He's used the silenced M4 now for a double. And with the bomb going down, it's a short side plan, or rather safe plan from Daps. So they'll be able to hold it from that long plateau. If he could take two with him, he can set Obo up for success. A big take too long on this. They might overcook it here. Daps has got one. Obo's gone down. That's all she's going to write right there. And the round's picked up. Call that 14. Well, things are going. I don't know. I don't know what everybody's expectations were for EG. Mine were quite low. Uh, this morning, I, I, I tried to do some predictions. I put Na'Vi for first in the group, and I put EG for last, and the other four slots in the middle, I didn't know what to put. So it, it's kind of hard to call, right? It's really hard to call this group. You, you have no idea what to expect. 
you can only go off of speculation, right? Both of these teams have a different player than we saw before the player break. So if you want to go off of recent form and recent history, it's hard to use that to your favor as well. But here you go. It's another one of these weaker buys. Some AKs, MAC-10, Light Util, Scout, and it looks like a B pounce as Tabson's called this one pretty rightly. He's in CT spawn ready to rotate over. We've got Gade and Keto to be tested on this B site. Bloody hell. There's the commit. Keto, he's got full vision. He's got the support of Gade. Not anymore. Neutralized now, and that's the frag that breaks them. They should have access to the site now. I know two members of Big make it one. EG say play on. All the AKs recovered. A tart of Chad's tongue. It's just too late for this, right? <laughs> yeah. If they keep going round for round, the big will just win, that, yeah. right? <laughs> big will win in four rounds time or three rounds time or whatever it's going to be, right? Well, you don't know they're going to go round for round. Yeah, but like so far, what are we looking at here? They've yeah. only been able to put two consecutive rounds in the entire game. And that was off the T side pistol and then the second round. So, right, like we don't have a great sample size of they of them stringing round together. So uh, they need this next one. Yeah, he's looking to hold on to his AWP, and uh, something deep inside of me tells me he is going to hold on to his AWP. Okay. Track is his deep shadow. Inside of you. That was lovely. Oh, oh, all right. Me, who's got smoke vision. Well, that's up that extra buff. That is going to help them convert consecutive rounds. Because if you're big and you're doing things by the book, you would just take a partial or a save here, right? Like in the next round of play, you get 1,900, and that's going to be enough for Gade to buy. Tabs, they'll all have enough to buy, right? It's, it's all going to be good. They can drop an AWP like Gade can in the, in the next round of play. So it's fine for now. Yeah. Let's see if this has any more twists and turns as out long we go. Corner smoke dropped, flashes over, and nobody home. You notice how, like, the Danans don't get angry that we don't say Gade like a Danish person? Which would be Gil. Gil? Yeah. Whereas, like, the French are like, it's Zihu, actually. Oh, that's an AK-47. You take those. Imagine? Nah. I don't nah. even want to imagine. Nah, this one, it shouldn't. They have a molly and a flash. Tizian would have to do something out of this world. And I think they might just play for punishment here. So, gonna opt for the exits. It's me who's already having a little bit of a looky loot. I'm gonna creep over towards this B bomb site. He'll actually beat them towards B. So, if Big wanna push the issue and go into the tunnels. Protect the president, Tizian, hanging out with the trash. If I'm EG, I'm just not wanting to give away any more AKs. We already saw what happened earlier when they gave away two. Just hold on to your goodies. Keep your weapons in hand. And that's their eight. So two more rounds for the double digits. Not out of the realms of possibility here, but we will get to see the return to the weapons from Big. Now, important that they did save that. Gade will be dropped across a rifle, but he won't be operating with much utility. Just able to get one smoke. Sirison has been given the AWP. Yeah, he's been looking all right. 18 kills for him. Jeez. I did, uh, a face it game went 202 rounds. Yeah. 202? Crazy. That oh, is you keep going after 100 rounds. The fact uh, that you just uh, kept going, that's uh, absolutely nuts. I just can't believe it. I just feel sorry for whoever's played 200 rounds of Counter-Strike and then lost. That's <laughs> perseverance, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's a deep smoke, so... Ooh. Okay, Tizian, you have to stay at that blue bin. You don't want to cross any further here. You can see just how much Breeze can see through the smoke. So he's going to know nobody's on the left side of the door. That's all right. One less thing to clear here if they ever want to end long. The Jiggles, who's quicker? Down, your trigger pulled. Breeze dead. Entry kill now in the favor of the Germans. This is going to force to take a different path of aggression, looking likely to end Catwalk. Mihu's in lower dark with the bomb, so maybe they want to go for a V-split after feigning some presence. They've drawn Tabson across towards the mid-doors. That's going to leave Sirison and Tizian 
the two lone defenders of the A bomb site. And this is a great call from Tabson. If they do finish B, he'll be able to help Keto and Gade lock down this side of the map. With 41 seconds, it's still not a full A commit, right? They could still pivot back. Yeah, they're not sure what they want. Ovo's going to look for info here. I'd say more than info. He's got himself straight down to CT, but that might spur them into a mid to B. Is he all oh, walking in? Searson's AWP is still a problem in here. They come. Tabson's call cool, about to pay dividends. Mihu not looking, and a free frag for Gade. He goes unchecked, which enables a double out of nowhere. That's lovely from Big Clan and Tabson. Yes, yeah, cerebral calling out of the in-game leader. 31 kills for him as well, being quite the game. He had 25 of those, I do believe, within the first half. As I said, 17 of them with the Krieg. Now just one more round here for Big. To lock in the opening W. Important win. For most, I'm sure this one here, if you want to get through the groups, is a must win against the ham Hampered, Hamstrung, Haunted, EG maybe as well. As uh, looks like an all-in B-Rush here. So that's going to be a fast end to the game. Through the smoke they go. Kido with the AUG. He gets one and a half. Gade gets nothing. And OK, maybe it's not done just yet. Tapson disagrees. Oh, God, they're quick. The nade looks good for Oboe as well. Damn, that's a big chunk. He goes from 60 to 9. Hampson getting himself extra close to the screen to finish the job. And he will tap away at another head. It's just coming to him so easy. Very, very solid fragging presence. 34 looking comfortable. To finish it all off. 